After competing in the 5v5 and 3v3 2K League events and placing top 5 in both, I was invited to the 2K League Combine. Now, if you don't know what the 2K League is or you don't know what the 2K League Combine is, let me explain. The 2K League is a professional esports league for 2K that's ran by the NBA and 2K Sports. A league with 24 professional teams located all over the world with coaches, managers, draft picks, and trades. Where the best of the best 5v5 Pro-Am players compete at the highest level with thousands of dollars on the line. So now that you know what the 2K League is, the 2K League Combine, as you can imagine is similar to the NBA or the NFL combine. A competitive place where all coaches and teams can scout players to draft to their team for the next season. Now there is an open combine and a closed combine. Each player selected for this combine will start in the open combine. There will be about over 500 people on Xbox and PlayStation competing over the course of two days. And each player will have a total of eight games with four different teams facing against eight different teams in the open combine. Now, depending on how good you play individually based on stats, wins, communication, IQ, adversity, you'll be either cut or you'll be one of the 150 players invited back to the closed combine. Now, the closed combine will be another two days where each player will have eight games with four different teams against eight different teams, but this time with the best players from the open combine. If any of this confused you, make sure to just rewind. But without further ado, let's see how I can compete in 5v5 competition competitive pro and for the first time ever against some of the best 5v5 players in the world. Let's get into it. We're talking about Double H playing 5v5 pro and the kids just got no talent. Oh my god, if he stepped foot in the pro am he'd get destroyed. I've been watching this kid for years. It does not translate. The kid doesn't have an it factor. He's not going to fucking make it. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Play a cut, play your own cut. I'm paying. Yeah. What's the rap? Talk good. Shoot this. Knock down double. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's shot, go. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Come on. Knock down, boy. Let's go. Good shot. I got take. I got take. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Triangle, 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 snack cut. Good. As soon as it's inner flip. As soon as it's inner flip, go. Got it. Good D. Double H. Oh, good D. It's hey. Shit, boy. Good shot, 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 yeah. Shot, boy. Shot, boy. Shot, boy. Come on, boy. I see you back there, boy. Yes. Uh huh. Hey, boy. In his jersey. Come on. Shot, That's my body. Come on. Shot, boy. Good shot, boy. Good shot, boy. Good shot, boy. Oh my God. I'm going out wide. That's in there. Come on. They talk about Come on, bro. You there? You're the top oh, day, boy. Come on. Come on. The f they Stop talking going. about the f No. What? Who threw that? My heart. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Hey, double H. Get a video. Video <laughs> with double H. YouTube, it's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it. We get another banger, and as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, we will be trying out for the 2K League Combine today. And by the end of the video, you guys are gonna see if I make it to the closed combine because today's video is gonna be the open combine, which is one of two parts of the 2K League Combine. Now, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys want me to continue pro am content because I am loving pro-am so far okay drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it all and if you guys want the part two to this video now i'm going to be showing all eight games in this video there is going to be four different teams that i play on you will also see the opponents that we play in each game because once again i'm showing all eight games in the video i'm showing wins losses all that good stuff now the players competing in this event are 5v5 event winners or pro-am tournament winners or x 2k league pro players trying to get back in the league now one thing to know is we do not choose our teams as prospects the 2K League makes and creates all the teams that compete in the combine, and they might make some bad teams on purpose, good teams on purpose, mediocre teams on purpose, and match up those teams against bad, good, or mediocre teams as well to see how individual players 
perform under certain situations whether they're at, they're at a disadvantage an advantage they should win this game they shouldn't win this they should or shouldn't win this game this could be a close game how are they going to play in close games how are they going to play in blowouts how are they going to act if they're losing how they're going to act if they're winning all that good stuff so you're going to see everything in this video my first time ever playing competitive pro am in my 2k career and i'm doing it against the best in the best which is going to be crazy so i'm going to be showing all wins and losses all mistakes all things i did good so let's just go ahead and hop into the first game this is going to be a w make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel for more pro am content and let's get into it we are finally here with game number one we're all about to ready up we're going to show you my team and the opponent's team every game this is our first of eight games of comp pro my first comp pro am game ever there's definitely going to be some adjusting to get used to and some learning and as you can see my team we got snag my boy steve uh sniper and greens and we're playing against badge plug in the first game he's at point guard with his team he's got a pretty decent team but i have eyeball greens at my point guard position on our team which is supposed to be the number one or number Number two pick in this year's 2k league draft so he's one of the best players in this entire thing and we got him on our team fortunately now i'm going to be playing the two guard for this entire uh combine which is basically i'm going to be guarding the top of the key on defense um with the other lock and i'm also gonna be spotting up with the hash so i'm kind of the second option on defense and offense but as you can see we're getting ready to play here's our team you just saw his team it's time to go from that stage park mindset that i'm used to and try to learn this pro-am mindset which are you gonna see i'm gonna show some gameplay and some footage here that i was not used to and i was not wired in as a pro-am player but looking back at this gameplay it kind of makes me cringe a little bit because now after playing 20 plus comp prom games i know what i'm doing i'm a i'm a wired pro and player i got used to it you know what i'm saying so first play of the game right here they drop they get a decent look at the three it, or well it actually was a two and boom two to zero the game has officially started now our lockdown had a good start here he gets a nice midi he also you know gets his rotations as you see i have to drop here and then he goes back up and he's actually gonna pull for a three which is a good shot but listen in to some good communication and comp pro am that i was getting used to mash we could triangle this we could triangle this i'm good yep. i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm there i'm middle stay in it stay in it stay in it stay in it i'm back 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 play a cut play on cut i'm right i'm right i'm right i'm low i'm low i'm low i'm low i'm low yep yep d Damn, Damn. they're gonna do that a lot. Yeah, they're just gonna dump it down to the center at dump the end down. of the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna let y'all listen in to um a lot of the games here. Now this game we're not gonna show a lot of uh, some other games because there was a lot of good games that we have to show that are a little better than this game. But as you can see, Greens is just going crazy. I mean, I'd hope you know he passes things like that, but it's eyeball Greens. I can't you know complain. You know he's one of the best guards on this pro am stuff, and he was just in his bag. And then the first we're up eight, and I don't even have a single stat. I would attempt a shot, I don't have a rebound, I don't have a steal. So it's like, okay, we starting off slow, but it's okay, right? As you can see, one of the first defensive possessions in the second quarter here. I'm just reading badge play. You know, he's dribbling a rock lot right here. I know the pass is coming. And guess what? The pass is coming. And we get a very nice lane steal right there for our first stat of the 2K League combine. Now I wish eyeball greens would pass shots like this. Because as you can see, the hash is pinching. And I feel like I have that open shot right there. But it is what it is. You know, I can't complain, like I said but you know we live and we learn and right here i should have got that steal right there but i should also be rotating immediately to that corner but once again i'm used to that stage park mindset i'm not in that pro-am mindset and i'm gonna get in it as you can see later in this video but you know we're learning or we got to adjust right as i had the half i still have zero points i have one steal you see greens has 18 points he's going crazy we're up four um but start the second half look at i need to steal this i need to click x right there and i'm not because usually i'm playing twos right in the stage of the park and i'm on i mean i'm deciding oh do i need a block or go for a steal is it going to be a rim run or a shot but i'm guarding the top of the key it's always going to be a shot i'm never guarding a rim run in pro-am right so i gotta be on my x button 24 7 which is something i also adjusted to you're going to see later on now this is the first time i really get the ball to work with i got my park drill moves on my park build so i pass it to greens and we're going to go ahead and get an assist right here but i felt like the ball movement on this particular play was actually really good because usually it was just ball dominant between greens and the pick and roll at the center you see greens got 23 points right here now this is when i really start to learn some better defense and see i can follow my hash but instead i blitz badge plug get the steal give it to my boy sniper up the court he's gonna give it back to me and you already know i'm always ready to shoot that's one thing y'all know about me and no matter what game mode i'm in i am one of the best shooters on this game i shoot 68 percent from three in park and stage if you guys know that is very good so i'm ready to shoot and see greens calls me up to the higher hash which i should be standing at regularly but i didn't you know you know i don't really play pro am but i i'm learning right so i'm glad he told me that and we go ahead and hit the three 
three, right? So we're up 12 right here, three and a half minutes. We get this fast break dunk right here, but I should be shooting this right here. I have takeover. I didn't know that was a good shot. It is a hard shot to take, but later on in some of these games, you're going to see me take that shot and greening it, which is one of the hardest shots you can take. But it's also a ballsy shot. But so I take the safe dunk. You see greens is still going crazy. We end up winning this game by a decent amount. And that's the shot I'm talking about right there. That pull-up shot. It's a hard shot. It's a risky shot. But if you can shoot like I can, I can adjust to that and easily shoot it. But our first comp prom game, we're going to go ahead and win by eight points. I had, you know, eight points, one assist two steals and i didn't miss a single shot but for my first pro -Am game a lot of rotations that i'm learning a lot of defensive schemes that i'm learning a lot of you know blitzes pinches where to stand on the court where to rotate when to flare up at the top of the key when to do all that good stuff i'm learning i'm learning the pro am you know words and you know call outs all that stuff because i've never really played i've never played comp pro -Am. that was my first game but anyways we're in the arena and we are waiting for our second and last game with this particular team and our second of eight games in this open combine so let's go ahead and get into game number two here we are game number two our last and final game with this team we were playing against champ top five who's in a pro-am clan we're playing against havoc euro dunk who you've probably seen in some of, on some of joe knows pro-am teams euro 2k who's a pretty solid lock um actually i think it's gerald 2k i'm not 100 sure but anyways second game hopefully we can get some more touches y'all are about to see what happens we're running with the same team we don't we didn't need any subs everybody showed up the second game as well y'all already know we got greens the number one guard if you missed last game i wouldn't skip to be honest in this video we got we got a lot to, a lot of gameplay to show i'm on the same build everyone's in the same build same lineup y'all know how we rock it i mean unfortunately the team that i'm playing on is very ball dominant with the center and the guard it's really just pick and roll fight for a three you don't have a three dump it down to the center get a layup here's what the other team's lineup is looking like very solid team uh so we we got we got a good matchup we got a good matchup i say this team is definitely better than the last team we just played and the tip off has officially started and so has the game first play of the game they're gonna come up the court run a simple pick and roll you know what i'm saying dump it down to the center get an easy dunk and that's gonna start off the game two to zero now i gotta hedge on some more of this stuff look at this play right here so the guards gonna come over to the left look at me i'm not up i gotta be up i gotta be ready to rotate be ready to hedge be ready to pinch and like i said i'm still adjusting to that pro and mindset but it's okay one of the first games of the play i go up with this layup i thought i had a dunk but he swerved around me little did i know that was gonna be my only missed shot of these two games now i feel like greens could have passed up a couple shots that he was shooting but you know it is greens i can't complain like right here i feel like i'm open that last fast break i feel like he could have hit the corner you know what i'm saying even right here um when he when he drives to the to the basket i gotta get back on defense right and, you know if you saw right when he went up that lamp i'm still standing there and the defender is running down the court as soon as i see someone attempting a shot which is something i had to learn i gotta go up you know i gotta go down court Right there, I feel like the lock could have easily just dumped it down to me. I feel like he shot a difficult shot right there. But it is what it is, right? But let's listen into some communication we had during defense because our defense was solid. Yeah, we can reverse it. We can reverse it. We can reverse it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm ball, good. Ball, I'm good. ball, ball, ball. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back. 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 I'm playing low. I'm playing low. I'm playing low. He won't run. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. He's there. He's there. Good day. Four seconds. Four seconds. Four seconds. I'm in front. I'm in front. I'm in front. Ball up. Ball up. Let's go. Come on. Good D. Come on. Now, at the end of the first quarter, we are up five points. Greens, unfortunately, gets blocked on a dunk right here. Now, I do think there was a lot of passes in that first quarter that I could easily have gone to me. But, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. If we're not getting passes, we got to make other up for other things, right? Defense, all that other stuff. But Greens was in his, it was in his back you know the in this second half of this game right you know he's fading he's green and he's doing everything he can to lock in and make sure we get this w activates a little sneaky take gets a green we're up six now i go ahead we should have got blitz right there but i dot greens wide open limitless shot green we're up nine points now they have zero points in the second quarter our defense was locked down 14 to zero in the second like we were really going crazy on defense like some of these plays don't really show up in the stat sheet but we were really locked in on the communication with defense greens is still going crazy we up nine um and this is my first and only shot right here it was basically just greens not getting open and on the last second he it was like his last option he had to pass it to me which is crazy that's like the only shot i get right i don't know but look he just throws it to me i'm always ready though that's the thing 
I'm always ready to shoot. So that was a weird die. It was unexpected, but I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? So of course we green that. Uh, Green's got to take over just shooting contested shots and making them. I mean, he's doing what he does best, and that's creating shots and scoring, putting up points on the board, right? So we end up winning by 10 points in this against this team now. I am 2-0 to start this open combine, but I haven't really done anything, right? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot of the pro -M schemes and stuff, but I haven't really put up a lot of points on the board. I haven't put up a lot of stats, right? So it's cool that I'm 2-0, but I haven't even gotten a chance to, like, adjust offensively with the ball in my hand but hopefully in game number three which y'all are gonna see and with our next team we go ahead and get that first opportunity now we are in game number three as you can see we're playing against yump hefe uh peha kev don't miss and a couple other guys right here now kev don't miss is an ex 2k league player very good center yump is a very good guard they got a good power for that's a very good communicator and a pretty decent shooting guard with a nice lock now my team is sid who you've probably seen in some joe knows pro-am videos and we're not really gonna talk about the rest of the team yet because y'all are just gonna have to see in the gameplay man this was tough i mean the first two games we got carried by the number one point guard this next game we have a below average team that is 100 percent you see the lineups you see who we're playing against this is our first of two games with this team and this was definitely one of those teams where i was supposed to step up as a offense and defensive player and i was definitely let's just say not ready for that okay especially after playing two games where i really didn't do anything right so we head into the first of two games with our second team the tip off has started the game has started and the first possession look at the center who is he setting a screen on i don't know do you know i mean is that casper i don't know as soon as i saw this on the first play i was like yo what is going on here, man? I don't. He, does he expect the guard to run the defender into the screen? Like that's not how it is in 2K. You gotta, you gotta get that. Then our lockdown was reaching really late on a lot of these crab moves. A, all game long, all game long, he's doing that. Once again, in the center. I don't know who he's setting a screen on. He should have been slipped as well. So that leads to a bad shot attempt by our point guard. I'm not getting back in time, and they get a free three, right? And once again, our lockdown, he kept reaching out of the play here. You're going to see here, he reached way too late on that. If you're going to reach on that crab move, you got to reach early to get that poke. He wasn't doing that. Even right here, look at this. Who is he reaching on right here? What? what? That completely gets him out of the play. Then he reaches again late on that crab move for the third time already. And we give him another three just like that. 11 to 6. I'm not even going to lie. I don't even know how we kept it close for a quarter. Look at our center. Look at all that area to pop on the top of the key. Instead, he drags to the defender to the right side, leaving the allow, allowing the defender to guard two people at once. Look at I'm on the fast break. Dude. Down, I'm down, 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 I down, down. I'm not, I'm not. I mean, dudes are not uh, guarding me on the fast break, and they're not throwing it down right here. He throws it to me when his guard's wide open. So now it hits our guard in the head, and that's another turnover. And then right here, I get a fast break through. I'm ready to shoot on the fast break, and we're only down five going into the second. I don't know how. Right here, our center has me wide open. Instead, of he throws it to double coverage back door. I mean, I don't know. Once again, our center right here, he probably could have passed that to me. Shoots it, breaks his back on that jump shot. What is going on? Rebound. I'm wide open. He throws it to the only dude that's not wide open. And turnover. That could have been an easy three, right? And then right here, another three. I'm always ready to shoot in these spots. That's one thing I was good at to start. My Pro-Am debut was just being ready to shoot. Right here, the center has a wide open slip. He pops it. It gets open, right? Wide open shot. I mean, that's a great shot. He could have slipped. The pop was open, though, and he misses. It's just like our center and lock were right here. He reaches for no reason and just gives him a wide open dunk. I mean, I had to guard that wing. Now I have to drop to the guard. I'm not there in time, though. Sure for oh, oh reached? I didn't mean to reach. And then he says, I don't mean to reach. Like, bro, 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 bro. Oh, my gosh, I can't. And then once again, the center's not setting the screen on the guard. He just didn't know how to set screens, didn't know how to slip. It's whatever. I was trying to be the safety for my boy City. He was getting doubled and triple teamed. You know, I get an assist here. We start to break the press a little bit. Cut it to A10. Look at wide open layup. He doesn't take it. Passes it out. Then we have nothing. It's like, we're not taking our open layups. We're not passing to the right guys. We're not setting good screens. We're not slipping at the right time. We're reaching out of plays. We're giving up wide open shots every single play. And this is what the, the score was looking at at about halftime. I don't know how we were that close, but as you can see now, it's not even close. Right here, I'm trying to break presses. 
That was a bad pass. I made a, I made a lot of me and Sid made a lot of turnover mistakes, but I think the players on our team definitely could have been more available. But it is what it is. The whole team was making mistakes. None of us were playing good. We're down 20, as you see. We got completely blown out. This guard had 50 on our lock. 50! 50 points. Bro was reaching out of the play the whole game. Our hedge defense was awful by our bigs. It, it was bad. It was bad. Nobody played good this game. Our chemistry was terrible after this game as well because we just knew we were bad. Next game, we're playing probably the, my favorite center um, in this combine, Duke's Talented. Shout out to him. I played with him eventually here. Probably my favorite center there. And we're playing Montclair. It was probably actually my one of my favorite guards as well. I'm going to play with him in the future. You're going to see that. Um, and yeah, they had a nice team. And guess what? I'm just going to spoil it for you right now. The same thing happened the last game. We got absolutely destroyed right here. I throw it to Sid to start the game. He gets an open dunk. We get an assist. In this game, you know, I feel like these two games that I played with this team, I wasn't aggressive enough, right? I wasn't aggressive enough, and I didn't know how to be aggressive yet. But after these two games, I definitely learned how to. You see, I got a good nice pass there. He doesn't make it for the assist, though. Right here, we're breaking the press. Dot the corner. He goes ahead, gets into actually a really nice shot. That was a really good shot by him. And we're actually winning to start this game, but then we just completely folded. I blitz the guard right here, and I feel like these first four games in this combine were really important for me the first two games i got to feel what it was like to win a game win two games and get carried but not really be involved and i also got to feel what it was like to absolutely get destroyed and still not be crazy well be forcefully involved but not doing a good job at being involved right you see right here i do get a good shot right here yeah, I was getting points, I was getting assists, I was getting steals every once in a while, but I needed to take that next step. I needed to be the guy that could drop 30, 40 points or be a super efficient or get a ton of steals and be a game changer for the team, right? And I have not done that yet. You see, we're down. I mean, we're down 30 plus. I mean, we got absolutely destroyed. I mean, we got d d destroyed. I'm making a little list three right here. Not crazy stats though. You know, these two games, I this, this was probably the first game or first team I had a lot of turnovers. The first two games I had like no turnovers. These games I had turnovers and yeah, just bad decision making by our whole team. That team was awful. Probably the, the, the not only that, it, we're gonna pause the screenshot right here. This second game, as you can see, we had a different center on our team. The first game, if you remember, our center was some guy named Perks who was doing really bad. He pretended like his Wi-Fi cut off, bro. He, he messes one of the admins. Oh, my my uh, power cut out. His power did not cut out. I promise you that. He was that bad that he just stopped playing, bro. He did not want to play anymore. And then we got this center run this game who was probably just as worse. He didn't know how to play center either, either way. And we got blown out again. So, yeah, going on to game five and six. We got we to gotta change up things. It's, it's enough taking the back seat for the point guard. We got to lock in and be a difference maker. And we got to dive head first into being a pro-am wired competitive player starting the next game. Because right now we're two and two and we haven't put up any crazy stat lines. And we have to we, ha we have to be better. We have to play better if we want to get invited to the closed combine. So let's go ahead and see what happens in the next four games. And we are officially in the second half of the open combine. As you can see, my team is Book, Shifty, Sing, and Champ. And yeah, Book is a great point guard. He actually recently played on Joe's team for the Laker fan wager, if you guys saw that. The other team is very good too. Like both these teams, very, very good. The other team has Sid, who's the point guard we just played with, but he's actually good when he's not playing with a bunch of bums, right? Um, and they got Rim, who's a top center prospect. They got Neff, who's a good lock, who actually knows me. Shout out to Neff. I actually play with him in the future of this video. But anyways, this is the lineup they got. This is the lineup we got. And I love that I went to, to this team because this team was like, I felt like a team basketball team. You know, the first game, it was ball dominant. The second game, it was just all over the place bad. This game, this team I was on, it was like a team game, bro, and I loved it. Y'all gonna love this gameplay that we got for y'all for this game. So we start off the tip. First game of two with this team. Boo's gonna take it up, hit me at the hash. I wasn't expecting that, but that was actually a good look. It was a little deep for the first shot, but that was a good look. So I love that look right there. Now, they start attacking me early on, but I got defense, bro. I'm on my park build, right? But my park build, even though it's not a pro build, it's got 99 steel. It's 6'7". It could do a little bit of everything. Not the best two-guard build, but yeah. Uh, you know, we get a stop early, get a three, get our first points on the board. And yeah, I mean, this is what I love from a point guard. 
bailouts that attract both defenders. I wasn't seeing that from other guards in the beginning that I like to see because he was just getting us wide open. And I don't know what that was, by the way. I mean, I got a steal and he threw that out. Anyways, we were doing a lot of off-ball movements, a lot of plays to you know get other things open you see i i go over to the right side then i cut you get into the pick and roll action and it gives the guard a wide open dunk we were doing a lot of plays a lot of calls a lot of communication with this team as you see early on we do get a couple turnovers but i'm actually playing really good defense on this other two guard he is literally cold right now he can't get a bucket but they're passing i mean they get a wide open three right here very good ball move by them Right here, our guard's cold. He's gotten a lot of turnovers in a row. Nothing's really working. Our center gets bumped. I'm trying to get back on defense. They're running the break really well. They give it to Sid, who's a really good slasher. We end up getting the chase down block because we got back on defense. Now, right here, there's two seconds left. I just have to make up something. I got to chuck something up. So I have to chuck up a, a shot right here. There was a lot of shots in this game that I just had to chuck up because there's nothing on the shot clock. Even right here, as you can see, I get the ball and just go right to the rim. Easy dunk. That's another thing about my build. It's a park build. It's not a pro am build. So I could do a couple things out of the order that a lot, not a lot of two guards in the combine are doing like literally just going from the hash to dunking the ball immediately now right here i bait the defense get them to pass out of that shot and we're playing good defense right there they gotta call a timeout and our defense is looking a little solid a lot of the other team's points is literally off the fast break and you see we're down four points right here in the second quarter this was a very intense game if you're gonna watch the game this was the most intense game i had played in the in the open combine that is for sure you see they're inbounding right here 12 seconds we get the center to pass out to the corner he passes back to the guard i'm playing both sides you see i'm guarding two people at once he has to throw up the layup we get a fast break and that leads to an and one dunk and that is gonna allow us to cut the lead to one one point now later on they do get a fast break they get the offensive rebound and they get a layup right but you see they're pressing our guard a lot of the teams were pressing so i have to help break the press i go over here put my icons up there's no one open so guess what i stop i go i get the easy dunk right i was just that's a good good making the read right there's no pass i got an open dunk you see right here as soon as i see that we have the ball secured i'm running down the court getting our easy fast break and securing an easy two points off of our good defense right now pick and roll game with my boy book and uh our center right here easy three and that actually secures our one of our first leads we get a one point lead but we end up losing it later on and i feel like i don't know our chemistry was pretty solid right here there's five seconds left he, he's gonna go ahead and just force it to me and i actually get up a three both defenders go back i get a three and that cuts it to a one point game i also have takeover now unfortunately i didn't get to really do anything with takeover you see we get a stop right here i'm trying to make something work but you know booth throws it right back to me but unfortunately the corner is there too i'm trying to run and stop now i was hoping Book would run to the wing but he kind of crowds me so i end up shooting a bad shot bad spacing bad shot at time as well there's only five seconds left but i had takeover so we're right here we're trying to play defense now he called for a cut but i'm not falling that for that the guard was hoping that i would fall with the cut no i'm pinching that getting that contest on that guard so he could not get that three and at the half we are down one playing some pretty good basketball right now we have a good we have a good game on our hands that's for sure five seconds left book doesn't really have anything he's just gonna throw it to me and this is another one of those like chuck shots i just had to chuck up i had a lot of these this game you know usually my percentage throughout this whole comment was actually really good my percentage isn't gonna be as good this game because i had to chuck up a lot of shots in this game right here we get an easy dunk give us the one point lead and this is the first time we ran the double press and i love the double press for my build right here as you see we're gonna double press the guard he's gonna have to force to either pass or make a decision i end up forcing a steal in a stop and we get a dunk right i'm gonna tell you in a second why this is perfect with my build that not a lot of people knew about my build because it's a park build not a problem build. right here double press he has to pass to the center you see our lot our other guard guy is guarding my hash and right there he's supposed to release to the center we didn't realize the center was a popper until right there, but he still misses. And then I'll get back to the hash once he releases to the center, right? And that's how the double press works. So you're gonna see us run that a lot right here. Once again, Book wasn't really, you know, giving me space right there. So we had to, you know, force up a shot again at the end of the shot clock. We actually get a good look right there. I don't know how that was contested, but we have a lot of offensive rebounds with our center here. You know, Champ was getting a lot of offensive rebounds. He was a solid center. We actually played him earlier as well. One second, look at, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. He set me up right there. I was getting set up, bro. Like, look at all these shots. I got a shot up and then the shot clock. and it's better to do that you know you got to get some kind of shot up. it's better than taking a 24 second violation right right here we were down eight points we cut it to six going into the fourth quarter we shoot a heavily to start the quarter but champ is a dog bro he is literally horsing dudes getting the offensive rebound right here we're trading a lot of shots though we we do get a stop though 
We get an easy fast break layup. We cut it to two points with four minutes left, right? Right here, we're playing good defense. We're up on that. He did not shoot that with takeover. I don't know why, but that was a great pull-up jump shot. Gets them the five-point lead. We got to play better defense than that. Right here, booking the pick and roll action. Champ at the top of the key. We're trying to get a bucket here. Trying to cut the lead down. I cut. Book gets the open three. Cut it back down to two points with a little over three minutes right left. We run the full court press again, right? So we got two guys up on Sid, forces him to pass here. I release to the hash. He releases to the center. And look at the, the double press literally worked perfectly right there. It works perfect because I have a 99 steal. Plus we have the lock guarding the ball. So we're putting a lot of pressure on the ball, right? Playing good defense. The guard, the hash is boxed. I'm guarding the two guard well. They got nothing to go. Five seconds left. We guard that cut. We rotate perfectly. Two seconds. We're jumping and they still score. Literally a perfect possession of defense, but they still end up getting the bucket. He gets a crab right here really good move by that man right there five point game now we end up shooting this champ with another clutch offensive rebound and put back down three points a minute and 40 seconds left we're running our press again and it works he throws it to the wrong guy our guard gets the seal i was hoping he passed me right here doesn't end up passing and loki threw our stop right there it's okay though you know book was playing good all game down three minute 20 seconds left five seconds on the shot clock we need a stop he bails it out to the center two seconds absolute dot to the corner with one second and he misses he misses the shot oh my god book down the lane gets blocked but it's still our ball three three point game minute and 10 left shot clock going or no shot clock wasn't done going down but we run a cut from the corner and now it's a one point game with that goal 10 call we're pressing over here. I'm releasing back to the hash. We need to stop. Our lock is the seal. I'm running down the court. Easy fast break. Could have pulled up the three, but I'm just, I just just want to get our lead, right? So one point lead, 45 seconds. I'm going back to the hash. We're guarding this pick and roll nicely. Step back shot. I'm there. I pinch. He shoots a heavily early bad shot. Good defense. Good health defense. Five seconds left. Book's going to go ahead. Bail out. We got three seconds. Nothing to work with. Pass to the corner. Fade away. Midi over two people. He hit that. Yo, my boy is a dog for that shot. I'm not going to lie. Sing, that is a crazy shot. Or Shifty, that is a crazy shot. I ain't going to lie to you. Three-point lead. 13 seconds left. No threes. They get an easy, fast two, which is not what we wanted. Eight seconds left. We are up one. All we have to do, inbound the ball, hit our free throws. We go ahead, call a timeout right here. there Because we, we don't, we don't want to throw a turnover right here. I'm going to go in the backcourt. Our guard is open. He gets fouled. All he's got to do is hit these two free throws, and then we got to get a stop, right? Hits the first. Come on, man. Hit the second free throw, Buki. Hits the second free throw. We're up three. Six seconds. All we have to do is get a stop, bro. No threes, and we're good. They can get the two. Right here, they go for another easy two. They're down one. Four seconds left. All we have to do is aim on the ball. Here is our live reaction. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. They're not getting no food. No. Ooh, Whoa. What? Who threw that? What, what that the was me, fuck? bro. And I try to hit icon B, bro. I'm not going to lie. I got ball. I got ball. Two, three. Two, three. Watch me. 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 Watch yeah, 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 hey, double H, yeah, oh, video, video was double H, video uh, was, it got the drama, it got drama and everything, double H, <laughs> that got everything, oh, look at three, yo, that full court oh, pass made that ten times better, <laughs> What an ending to that game. I mean, yo, we almost blew it right there. We had 11 points, two steals. I felt like a great offense and defensive energy with that team. So we win game number one with that team. We are now three and two in the combine all together. We have three games left. One more game with this team, two other games with a new team. That was a close buzzer beater game. Drop a like if y'all enjoyed that game. I mean, we won by one point two great teams competing against each other let's go ahead and see what game two with this team has in store for us we are in game number six the last game with this team right here and then after this game there's only going to be two games left of the open combine now the goal for me is to be positive to have a positive record at the end of this uh open combine i don't want to be 500 i don't want to have a negative record if we could have a positive record that'd be a huge w now as you can see 
We got the same team. We're playing a different team here now. This team is also very, very good, just like the other team we played. Pretty solid team. So both games that we played um, with this team is against other good teams as well. So they definitely are giving us some good competition with this team, which is, you know, as expected when you get a good team in the combine to match you up against other good teams. But yeah, hopefully I can, you know, do the same thing I did last game. You know, keep learning that defensive pressure scheme, the double press, um, full court press we were doing and also continue to knock down some shots some big shots for us and hopefully secure another one with this team which would mean we would go 2-0 so the tip off is here we are in the game right here now the first bucket is actually a weird bucket you're gonna see right here we got them clamped five seconds on the shot clock they're gonna kick it to the center he comes down with it we get a contest on that they get a free board though these are to go back up and look at this he blocks it but it goes in like what a weird way to start anyways the shot clock's going down book doesn't really have anything book was really struggling to start this game really old game long to be honest three seconds left i kind of i literally just have to chuck something just like last game this happened a lot like where he just give it to me with like a couple seconds left and i had to just chuck something up hoping to get an offense around but right here i get it back we get a steal i almost throw it away dive on it we get the timeout so do we do secure that stop now as you can see we're down nine our lock is cold book is going to end up being cold here soon and yeah, we were just struggling early on with the offense. Look at Book missing wide open. Book was missing a lot of open shots in this game. He just had a bad game, right? You see, now we're only down six points, 50 seconds left. They get a timeout right here. We're down four points, which is actually pretty good. But look, Book gets a wide open look right here and he just misses. Like that could have, that's a big shot right there. Wide open, he shot in early. He's not shooting good. I got three steals. Our defense is doing good. And we're only down seven. I mean, it's the, it's the third quarter. We only have 23 points. The problem is clearly the offense. We start double teaming the guard. We're getting a lot of stops. We're producing points off the fast break now because of our defense. Our defense is amazing. Like 30 points in the third is nothing. It's just our offense is really bad right now. Our guard's missing. We're not really creating anything. Look at our full court press defense is starting to get us some points on the board. We get another steal right here. Book with the open three. He knocks that down. And now it's just a two point game. Look at our press. I mean, we were literally just attacking the ball handlers because they were not passing the ball a lot so we we're just throwing people at them we get a chase down block right here that's another stop and we get the transition foul we're gonna go ahead and get that easy free throw and our defense is looking absolutely insane to just in this game right now like our defense is insane our offense that's another thing now i get a three right here it was contested because i don't have blinders but i still knock it down i'm ready another uh possession right here we're literally down eight now it was just a one point game now we're down eight or we were up one actually i get a shot right here three seconds i go ahead and just take the dunk i low-key had a three but i still get you know the points to go down six to start the fourth quarter we need to make a run here he go ahead and help I go ahead and hit the three. Simple as that. I'm always ready to shoot. Y'all know this. Now we're down 11, though. We were just down on three. Now we're down 11 because we just keep missing shots. Our offense is just not there, right? And you see Book. He's trying to wrap me. We're trying to run a play, try to get something open. He has an open three. Passes it to me, though. I have an open three, too. And I go ahead and knock them down. We're down eight points. Now down six with a minute and 25. Calls a back door. Hits the corner. Green. We're down three points. A minute and a half. We're doubling this right here. Great defense. Look at this defense. I don't know how that's not a steal right there. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Down three. Minute and 15. That's covered. That's covered. But look it. Passes over there. I don't know what our guard was doing right there. Gets completely out of position, gives up a three, and now we're down six with a minute left. Gets an open three right here, shoots an early. That is not good, too. Another bad foul. This dude's wide open at the hash. That's green with limitless take. Now we're down nine, and the, we throw an inbound turnover right here, and the game just slowly got away from this. Uh, got away from us. I really thought. We could have easily won this game. I, I was kind of disappointed because I thought this was a win for sure. Our offense was definitely lacking there um, as a team. And, you know, we finished, this, we finished the game with 14 points, a rebound, three steals, shot four for six. The only shots we missed, two were just chuck up shots at the end of the shot. But Book had a bad game, three for 11 from three. I thought our defense was pretty solid, too. We had 10 steals, forced 11 turnovers. But at the end of the day, the offense just wasn't there. And we gave up a lot of points at the end of the game as well. We are now three and three going into our last team's games. We have two games left with a new team and I'm going to get some revenge. That's for sure.
is revenge time, baby. The second to last game of the open combine. You see my team. I got Montclair, Neff, Peja, and Dukes. And we're playing against a pretty solid team. I'm matched up against OV Goon, who's supposed to be a very solid shooting guard prospect. And yeah, it should be a good game. It's time to take over. It's time to be aggressive. It's time to pick, put up some big numbers in these last two games because we've had some bad games. We've had some decent games, but we haven't had those games where we go off and it starts right here now. Earlier in the video, if you guys heard me, I did say I Dukes was my favorite center I had played with in the combine and Montclair was one of my favorite uh, point guards that played on the combine. And we got them both from the same team here. Shout out to my boy Neff, who is the lockdown on our team. He's been watching since 2K20. Shout out to him and Peja was a great communicator at the four through these two games that you guys are about to see so anyways let's see if we can win this matchup here we're going against goon on the shooting guard matchup as well and yeah we're getting into this game by the way ignore those averages those are all glitched in the prime stats i, I know i'm probably gonna get some comments about that but anyways we start the game with a little pnr right here easy dunk from our boy dukes and their offense the other team's offense it was gp and goon trying to run the offense really just attacking from both sides trying to get buckets here as you can see gp's a little box he's gonna throw it over to goon and he's boxed too three seconds we're playing good defense but he somehow finds that crack in the defense and gets an easy fadeaway mini but that wasn't gonna happen for long you see me and dukes getting into the pick and roll i find him for a dump off he passes out to montclair wide open three bang and now we go from being down eight to two to eight to five we got another stop as well i'm wide open but he tips the pass and montclair is actually gonna get an easy three right here and i'm telling you our defensive full court press was crazy this game we're gonna go ahead and double the point guard we're gonna make him cough up the ball and our power forward is gonna sit at the hash for me until he swings to the center when I release back to the hash and just listen to our communication on this defensive full court press because we were going crazy. That's not a steal. Yo, I'm holding hash. I'm holding hash. Come on, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Good shit. We're doing that every time off the score. Take the corner. Take the, the corner. Yep. Stay, 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 stay in that corner. Stay in the corner. Yep. Clear your, clear your wing. Clear your wing. Clear your wing, bro. That's off. That's off. That's off. I'm there for you. Airball. 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 Come on, boys. Let's take this lead. Come on. So our defensive chemistry was clearly very good from the start. Look at our lockdown, Neff. Our Neff was going crazy. Like he was really in his bag. I get an easy fast break dunk from his great defense right there. We go into another offense possession right here. As you can see, Montclair's working the right side right now. Doesn't really have anything going for him. He's gonna swing it to me, and I'm just gonna immediately pull that fadeaway three. It's a foul, but it still counts. Green light right there from a little deep on the fadeaway i was ready this game that should have been a blitz right there you see we're playing really good defense on goon right here he's got nothing he's got nothing he did that play one time he's never getting that play again you see we rotate over to the corner the lock rotates to the wing and look at their clamp end of the the quarter right we're up two going into the quarter i wrap around backdoor cut easy dunk good call up on my boy montclair to call out that play and right here, you see the guards working. I pinch to help. He bails out. That's a little too deep for Goon. He misses. And look at that's good defense. I do get the good putback, but that was good rotations. Our defense is leading good rotationally. We're having good on-ball defense. We have good communication. And we're only a quarter into the game. Look at me getting that chase down block right there. I mean, Goon is cold. He is literally cold. He is clamped. Three seconds. Neff gets the tip. Oh, literally, his whole body going out of bounds trying to save that ball. They have two seconds on the shot clock. This dude's cold. They try to call for a back door. There's nothing there. I mean, our defense is literally boxed. I got to take over. I get the ball. I'm running over to the right. I'm cooking up. Fade away three over him. Green. Come on. We we cooking. We working right now. We we back in the press as well. They release it to the guard. We chilling, right? Good defense. They try to give the GP. I'm guarding the ball now. It's all good. I got to take over. We here, right? The, the, the we're, we're pressing him. He forces a pass. I get the ball right here. Could pull up for three, but we get the fast break dunk. And look at that. I mean, now we have a six-point lead. We were just down eight to two. Now we're going crazy. This dude's cold. We're pressing him. I mean, our defense, our pressure is crazy right now. Absolutely crazy. We reset it to Montclair after that possession and we're just trying to score right my Claire sees me I'm from the literally hash green and it's a yellow I'm shooting over those now we up nine points right now I'm releasing to the hash right here we're playing good defense my boy Neff is on ball he gets another steal I have the fast break I could easily get the dunk no that's my body we shooting a pull up three that's what I was at that crazy shout out about earlier now I'm getting that into my bag I'm really starting to get used to this pro-am mindset look at me after the first after the first half I'm player of the half 18 points seven for seven four for four from three I'm a problem out here I'm a problem up double digits, Montclair with a crazy good shot. Shout out to my boy Montclair for hooping out here in this combine. And y'all already know. I mean, I don't know why he's leaving me. Why is he leaving me? I'm a shooter. 
I'm a shooter. 21 points already. I got more than half my team's points right now. Neff with another good stop. I'm going into the paint straight down. That's another easy dunk. And look at our defense. I mean, our defense was crazy. Look at Neff. He's got... But we got... Neff has got the point guard cold. I got the shooting guard cold. I mean... We're just like a, we're just crazy. This lock duel is insane. That pass was insane, by the way, as well. We're playing good defense. We rotate over here. They got nothing. Look at our rotations. We are everywhere. We're on ball right here. Both guards are cold because me and Neff's defense. We rotate. Easy steal. Now I'm on the fast break just looking for the dump ball pass. He tries to blitz me. Nope. Dukes is wide open for the dunk. And that's another easy fast break dunk. We're up 20 points right now. Now we're up 18 we're playing more good defense. I mean, we are just like, it's crazy. We're everywhere. Look at, we're in the lanes. Pale with the lane. I get a bad catch animation right here. And he's there, right? But I'm shooting over those. Green, yellow percent. It don't matter. It does not matter. We have 21 points right now. I have 26 points. Shoot, I haven't missed a shot. I don't know why he's not guarding me. Fade away three from the logo. Come on. We going into the fourth quarter with 29 points, 11 for 11, 7 for 7 from 3, and we're up 24 points. Now, unfortunately, I didn't score in the fourth, but we were just trying to get everybody else their stats right. It's what, it is what it is. I just went 11 for 11 from field goal, 7 for 7 from 3, 29 points, a rebound, assist, a steal, a block, with great rotations, great communication the entire game. What an absolute game. By far my best game so far in the combine. And we got one game left with this team. One game left of this open combine. And we're going to see if we can make it to the closed combine. But wow, what a game. Let's keep that same energy going into the last one. Going into the last and final game, we got the same group of guys on our team. We're playing against He Don't Miss, Combo, Chaz, Pop, and Leno. Pretty solid team right there. And hopefully we can pull off the win. Right now we are 4-3 and three in the Open Combine. If we win this game, we will end off 5-3, and three, which is actually really good. Anything positive record for me in this would actually be pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. So, going into the last game, we just had a crazy good game. I'm trying to keep that same energy in this last game because that last game was really the first game where I really popped off. Like, I was really doing everything correct. Rotations, defensive schemes, all my shots, you know, getting open, making the right passes, the right reads. Everything was just clicking, right? So, let's hope that same energy works in this game right here in the final game of the open combine make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed this video at all or want more prom content but you know the game's gonna start off with an easy you know uh layup that he had but he passes out right they call a timeout they're a little shook by our defense already right two to zero we have the ball right here montclair with a crazy good shot to start the game i mean he was just hoping out here but our defense was insane i mean me and neff probably had the best defensive chemistry i've ever had with a lock in the combine he gets a steal off the rim I get a wide open dunk. I mean, our defensive pressure was absolutely insane. Right here, I'm pressuring the guard like crazy. And that forces into a uh, turnover before he, they even cross the half court line. Then our power forward dots Neff in the corner. I mean, we're just going crazy already. Now, right here, we get the offense rolling. I'm being patient. I'm trying to work with something. I was low-key open off that behind the back. But I'm being patient. I'm backing it up. Wide open midi. And that is a fantastic high IQ shot right there. Yep. Yep, sure, be boy. patient. Oh, duh. Good you know Good I'm shooting that Good shit. Shot, you know I'm shooting boy. that shit. Come on. That boy is sticking on that ass. I, I mean, you can see my teammates know my body by the second game. They know I'm a crazy good shooter. They they know what to expect, right? Right here, we're playing good, crazy good defense. We get a strip animation right there. We're on the fast break, bounce pass to me, pull up. I try to get the three, but we'll take the two. I'm still hitting those. Those are crazy hard shots right there. You see the other team calling a timeout. They're down 20 to nine. It's just the first quarter. I mean, we are hoping right now. Look at we're depressing on we're pressuring on defense. I get the poke behind the bag. I'm still here though. Look at my defense. I mean. We boxing that. He's at the corner. I'm at the wing. I mean, they got nothing. Neff rotates up. We got our corner right there. He throws the lane steal. We on the fast break. I'm going to the corner. Fade away in the corner. That's green. I mean, we cannot be stopped right now. I'm still in my bag right now. Look at We bring right back to the full court press. Back to the defense. 23 to 10. Neff with that blitz right there. I'm pulling up for three. I mean, look at me. I got that dog in me. Stop playing with me. 
back to that full court press we are applying all kinds of pressure i got 15 points already we full court pressing this right here i mean my defense nest defense our whole team's defense was just on point at this point i mean you would think we've been playing pro-am for weeks right this is our second game second time ever even speaking to each other three seconds i boxed him for all 23 seconds they forced a layup they ended up getting it to go but it doesn't matter that was great defense right here you see people are jumping at me because they know i'm a shooter i noticed the center is gonna help pretty heavily right here so i dot the corner he's open green oh my gosh i mean it's getting crazy another timeout right here at halftime it's 40 to 27 they had a couple threes to end the half you know catching up a little bit we were up 20 now we're up 11 you see look at this defense i mean they're shook they don't know what they're shooting they don't know what they're doing right here i'm resetting i'm getting doubled basically triple team um at that fast break right here but look at oh my gosh montclair with a dot to the corner what a pass now back to the box session because our defense is crazy this is another example of my defense in a possession i can guard ball i'm the secondary lock the secondary offensive player right then that's the position i'm playing shooting guard but i can guard ball too look at the pressure i'm giving to this guy i mean this defense was insane I, I, I'm, I'm literally claiming this dude on my 6-7 park build. He's got nowhere to go this whole shot clock. It went out of bounds the first time. Now he's got the ball again. I mean, now there's just 10 seconds left. Absolutely nowhere to go. Ends up having to shoot a heavily from half court. I mean, yo, the defense is getting crazy. Right here, more great defense. I mean, he's cold now. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Turns it over. We're up 15. Pull up, fade away. Three, he's jumping. I mean, it don't matter. That's green. I'm a shooter out here. We have 21 points. Another great defensive play from us. Fast break, dunk, and that's really going to do it. I mean, we have 23. That's the end of the game. I had 23 points. I had an assist. Uh, I, had, I, had, I had a decent stat line. Very efficient game. Very good defensive game that didn't really show up in the box score as much. And that's all eight games from the open combine. I mean, what an absolutely crazy game. But look, we have to tell y'all if we made the closed combine or not, which is basically the next private tryout of all these players that competed in this open combine and see if how they can compete in the closed combine, which is like the private tryout version of this. Let's see if we made it. Okay, did we make the cut? Let me know in the comment section yes or no before we go on to this next segment and we're gonna show you guys all the stats and where i ranked amongst the other players in the combine and i think you guys are gonna find this interesting let's get into it so we are here at the end of the video and if you skipped at all through these games i highly recommend at least watch the last two games because those games were absolutely insane there was also a game that came down to the wire i think it was like the sixth or fifth game but anyways let's go ahead and see if we made the closed combine now after the open combine en ended after those two days of those eight games they were they told us basically if you get an email we'll send you an email if you made the closed combine which would be in, in the next couple days they would have to reevaluate all the players look at film look at stats to see who actually deserves to make the close combine right so before we tell you all that information let's go over the statistics that we had throughout these eight games and where we ranked amongst other players that were playing in these open combine because there, there there was a lot of good players in this combine obviously i mean it was it was an invite only right so ain't just nobody ain't just anyone coming into this uh combine you know what i'm saying but anyways, so let's just go over a little recap. So the first two games, we were playing with a number one guard. We didn't get to touch the ball at all. We didn't get to really learn anything, to be honest. I kind of regret even playing those games. I mean, I had to, right? Because that was the uh, team I was I had was picked to be on right but i didn't really learn it a lot enough uh i wasn't really put in a position to do anything as well it was kind of just watch the number one guard go to work and you know go from there right the next two games we just got completely blown out because i just wasn't ready to, to be on a team where i had some kind of you know role right because i was i just played two games where i was on a team where i basically did nothing right so the first four games were really bad right then the next two games after that uh we were put in a definitely way better role you know had some decent stats along the way was put in some very close games very competitive games as well too i feel like all nine other players on the court besides me in both of those games were very very good and we're playing at a very very high level and then of course the last two games i went from 
you know, having some decent stats, learning all those schemes, learning all the pro-am terms and putting that all into work and just completely going off in every aspect of the pro-am gameplay, defense, offense, the rotations, uh, decisions making, all that good stuff. And I mean, of course, y'all saw that one game where I had 29 points, went 11 for 11, 7 for 7. Just some amazing plays, okay, right? But anyways, let's look at some actual stats. So throughout the combine, we averaged around 13 points per game two assists two turnovers so something if i do get invited to that close combine i need to look into is you know making better like pat i mean not better passes but trying to find you know the open guy to get an assist and limit those turnovers right because we had a couple games where the turnovers were high and a lot of games where the turnovers were zero but it still didn't matter matter our average was two turnovers a game right and another thing i want to do is just be more involved like those last four games i mean i i don't want to have other games like those first four i want to i want to be the shooter I want to be the defensive guy that's making those plays, you know? But anyways, let's look at some actual stats because I think you guys are going to be stunned by some of these stats. Now, out of everybody in the combine, including PlayStation and Xbox, I was number one in three-point percentage. I mean, it wasn't even close. The second guy was shooting 11% worse than me from three. And it's not like I wasn't shooting threes. I was shooting a lot in that combine. I mean, you guys saw the gameplay. We were shooting 86% percent in 5v5 competitive pro my first time ever playing it in the combo i mean that is just impressive in itself 86 percent i mean come on y'all that, that i gotta give myself a pat on the back for that that is absolutely ridiculous not only that we were number one in the combine in effective field goal percentage i mean i'm sure i'm sure i'm on one of two players above 90 percent in effective field percentage and i'm number one 112 percent not only that i mean we just keep going i was number one in a field goal percentage, 85.3%. It just keeps getting better. I mean, I'm a shooting guard and I'm at 85.3% field goal percentage that that is ridiculous and the crazy thing about all this is i barely cracked the top 50 for usage rate as a shooting guard if you guys don't know what usage rate is basically how much your team uses you on the court right and those first four games definitely affected my usage rate because these dudes were not using me and you saw what happened in the next four especially the last two games where i was actually being used i mean i was going crazy right so that's just another crazy stat right there but anyways it's time did i get an email from the 2k league saying i was invited back to the 2k league combine and the answer is yes we made the closed combine so drop a like on the video if you guys want to see another eight games of comp prom but this time in the closed combine private tryouts and subscribe to the channel for more videos right here is the email right here basically they said you know congrats if you received this video we are through or not this video this email we are thrilled to announce that you have made it to the closed combine right so yeah another eight games with four different random teams against eight different teams y'all know the drill drop a like if y'all want it man i mean we made it to the closed combine one step away from the draft this is crazy man uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and drop a like for the next one it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace